Hey, what's going on everyone? Eric Ross with the Guy with you here for a quick video that I want to talk about. A $30 lens, if not even a little cheaper, that you can get that is essentially really awesome and it's probably one of the best $30, $30 lenses that's high quality. Keep in mind this lens is a manual focus for the most part, but it will mount to like Nikon F, Canon, uh, FD, I think, and you can adapt this. I've used a photo C adapter to attach this uh, F mount to my Sony a6300 a little bit ago. But this, uh, it's called a Seikanon, S-E-I-K-A-N-O-N. -N. It's a 28 millimeter lens and it's an F 2.8. Now, I like something like this because uh, on full frame, uh, because it's a great street lens and I don't mind having my, you know, D750 screen uh, pulled out. And as I have that here, I can mess with the focus manually myself. But once again, keep in mind, there's no electronics on the back of this thing. So I'll show you, you know, right here. Now, obviously, I'll show you in a, in a close up. But there's no electronics. So it essentially just mounts and you just kind of go from there. The other thing is it doesn't necessarily. So this will electronically read and meter for the most part, but you still have to get used to it. But it has a 52 millimeter mount and the glass optics on this is probably very underrated for what it is. But it's like a secret lens not a lot of people know about. The metallic build of this is absolutely phenomenal. Now keep in mind, this is a very, very much older lens, uh, so it really doesn't have like any kind of weatherproofing or dust proof or anything like that, you know, for what it is. And I guess it all depends on your camera. You can kind of compensate for that. But for this 28 millimeter Seikanon, it's just something that I highly, highly re recommend picking up if you don't mind manual focus lenses. Like, as I said, you, the, this thing is macro. This essentially, and it even show you like on the barrel right here, you can essentially go from one to four all the way up to 110 to get, you know, true or a little less true accurate sizes of things. And it just works. It just works. The other interesting part is this has a very, very long focus throw. Like I was, that's still going right there. You almost turning at 360 degrees. So for video, I also highly recommend something like this. And you really control the aperture through the aperture ring up top. You don't need to have this set on F22 for this certain one to work. There's no electronics or anything for it to realize that. And you really just dial in exactly what you need from there. But I just wanted to show you this option. It's very lightweight. It's not pancake-like, but it's just something that I'd say is a gem to find. And if you can find this for 20, I've even seen it go for or $30. It's an easy buy for something like that, especially if you want to adapt something like this to a Sony system or to whatever you want to do. I know you can find this for uh, micro four thirds as well, but you can use this with pretty much any camera as long as you can adapt it. And it's very, very, very affordable. I've used this for some street stuff and just for some stuff in everyday common situations where you'll find yourself. And I haven't been disappointed, but once again, it's a manual focus lens. If you can't deal with that, this lens isn't for you. Uh, but if you don't mind that, and if you like fine tuning, especially for video and everything like that, this is a good lens to have and something that I said I like to have uh, on the street as well. So there's a pocket tip for you. Enjoy. Find this. Seekanon 28mm f2.8. Boom.